Ladies and gentlemen, Melina, da 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 Now guys, you know how when you meet a person and you think, my god, they're so nice, they're so polite, whatever, and you're like, hey, you know, whatever, but then you see them on TikTok or YouTube and you're like, that's not how I picture them to be on their fun time, right? You're, you're just so used to seeing them being polite and respectful and not breaking the boat or not hammering on the boat, you know, and you're just like, hey, that's, that's cool. But then you see them and they're just like totally ruthless or whatever, and you're like, wow, I had no idea you were like that. And so some of them, you know that one popular trend that's like, the trend is like, um, what's the trend? It's like, what do they say? They're like, um, they're like, what do they say? They say something like, um, um, oh yeah, like if you, if you know me and you saw me on TikTok, you know, I'm just being myself. I'm very, I'm very comfortable being myself on here, right? A lot of people are very comfortable. And, you know, with TikTok especially, I think a lot of people say things for shock value. And a lot of people will say things about their illnesses or whatever because it's like a very, it's like really crazy how that works. Because, you know, for most people, most people would not tell people these things in the past. But these are things that people are doing on a regular basis on TikTok, right? Like, I feel like everyone's like, I'm, I'm dying of AIDS or I've got this or I've got that. Which is great for that platform because, you know, at least there's a platform you can let it out, get people to talk to you about it, you know, have people say stuff to you. It's really kind of nice to have that outlet and to have people respond back to you with similar stories. I mean, it's nice to have a situation that's difficult that you can get, make very, a lot easier because you have people that are supporting you that can relate, right? But it, it just seems like it's like, which is, it's totally good, it's a good thing for sure. It's a really good thing that they have that. But I think, you know, back in the day, people never really talked about their health, which is not necessarily a good thing. Uh, you know, you want to share it if you feel like you need to talk about it. But I feel like people are more ready to say to people that they have illnesses or whatever on TikTok because they just want to get more vi viral views. And I'm not saying that's the only reason they do it. A lot of people really want people to relate to them and have conversation and to help people. I think that's really good. But there are some people that are just like, you know, saying whatever. Now, it's, a, it's really good when people do that. They have people that are relating to them, and people that say, hey, this is really cool. I'm glad you relate. And I want I have someone I can talk to about it, which is really nice. The thing that I don't like is when people fake an injury or fake something and pretend they have something and they actually don't. And they just make something up just to get people to follow them, right? Anyway, totally enjoyed the show, guys. Uh, you never would think that would happen, but it actually has. All right, anyway, totally enjoyed. Bye now. Bye, guys. Da -da 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 -da.